Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Furlong, and today we're going to be talking about graphing motion. An important skill is understanding what a graph is saying, and we're going to be looking at a couple different types of graphs over the next couple of activities. This video is going to be focusing on position time graphs. So here's an example of a position time graph, and if you take a look at that green line versus the blue line versus the red line, there's different types of motions taking place here. So for instance, the green line, the person is walking pretty fast and with a steady speed so that uh, we have a nice straight line and it's going up at a particular angle. But the blue line, however, the person starts out slower and then slowly gets faster, creating more of a curved line. Whereas with the red line, the person was walking in one direction, they stopped, and then they went back to the other direction. So, Let's look at an example of this. Let's start by making that green line. Let's say the person is walking home and they are going to be walking at a constant speed. Let's take a look at what that graph would, would look like. So kind of walked at a constant speed there. Notice that the line is essentially going straight up, just like we see in our notes. Walking at a constant speed in one particular direction. Now let's make the blue line. So on the blue line, the man was starting out slowly but then got faster over time. Oh, until he hits the wall. So now this time you can see that starts out slowly but then as he got faster, we had a curve to our line. So finally, let's look at the red line. In this case, the man started walking in one direction, stopped for a little bit, and then walked back to his original spot. So you can see the time that he was walking towards his house in a constant speed stopped. So he wasn't moving at all during this time and then started walking back to where his original spot was. Now notice his displacement in this case was zero because the starting point and the stopping point was the same. But he traveled almost 14 meters. So it does take some time learning these position time graphs. We're going to be doing a couple of activities to help us make these. And you're going to be actually making some yourself out in the hallway. And I'll see you in class.